In my day-to-day -day design work, I often encounter something like this. But I know my ways to transform a pixelated mess like this into something truly beautiful. I achieved this by upscaling my images. For that task, I've got three different tools in my arsenal, each of them very unique in its use case. Although they're all just simply image upscalers, they do it in a very different way. And all of them combined are pretty much all you'll ever need for upscaling images. Oh, and they're all free to use. I bet you'll be surprised what the third tool is, because it's probably not what you'd expect. But I'm talking way too much, it's time to get started. Number one is an upscaler that you install locally onto your computer. And honestly, it's pretty insane what it can do with extremely low resolution images. The name of the tool is Upscale. Not Upscale, but Upscale. A-Y-L, you get it. You can download it from their website completely for free for Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Upon installation, you're greeted with this user interface. Let's try it out together. Inside the settings, I can do some tweaking. I can set what the image will be saved as and also to what scale it will be upscaled for this i'll just i'll just go with times three for now and then there's really nothing more to do let's upscale then there's the slider and you can clearly see the difference i will also put them up on the screen for you to compare and in my opinion it did a pretty good job but I must say that the upscaled version overall loses a bunch of detail and looks a little flat. Still a very good result. Hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more cool stuff on the way. Now, back to the video. Totally different and also a little cooler is the next tool on our list. Kriya AI. You might have already heard about Kriya AI as it went pretty viral on social media. They do upscaling a little differently than other image upscalers. Let me show you what I mean by that with an example. This upscaler is totally web based. So you don't need to install anything and as far as I know it doesn't cost anything either unless you want some premium features. So inside upscale and enhance we upload our pixelated photo again and again we go with times four and down here we adjust our AI strength you can see the digits next to the slider change in color and usually when the color is the most green that's the amount that would work best for the image we've selected for ours it seems like 0.2 is the correct amount then it seems like we're done click enhance okay when it's done it will show up in this list down here then click on the newest generated image i must say i'm not that happy with the outcome let's try again but with a higher ai strength okay on this one i think you can see it perfectly so the before and after is extremely significant the difference between Kriya AI and a normal image upscaler is that Kriya AI pretty much reimagines the whole image itself. So if you try to upscale an already existing image and you want it to stay the same, then Kriya might not be the perfect option for you. The ring on the finger, also on the original photo, didn't exist. But I think Kriya AI can still do a lot better. I want to do another example, this time with one of the images I created for my AI influencer. Of course, pixelated and scaled down. Okay, on this one now, I think you can pretty clearly see what I meant by reimagining the image. They both, the before and the after, don't really look like the same person. And you can also on the upscaled version see that there's some weird stuff going on with her teeth but that's also due to the image the original image being so low resolution so let's swap the input image to the same image just with a higher resolution 
if the input image quality is just a tiny bit better, just like right here, then the upscaled versions are also way better. So if your outcome image doesn't have to look exactly the way the original image looked, then Krea is your way to go. So we've now had one upscaler for a somewhat realistic upscale and one with a more experimental attempt. But there is still something missing. You see, while Upscale did a very good job upscaling the image from just a bunch of pixels, the lack of detail is clearly visible and it looks just a little too flat for my taste, at least in some cases. This is where our number three comes in. I found this site while randomly searching for an image upscaler that could upscale my image to a professional level without me noticing any loss in quality. And it's called Upscale Media. But wait, there's a catch. Upscale Media isn't that great when it comes to upscaling images that are extremely pixelated. But in a realistic scenario, the images are usually not that pixelated. Especially when generated with AI, the resolution is just enough that you get extremely good results. Let me show you. I pick an image with a little higher resolution. Also, times 4 of course. If we upscaled the image with the little better resolution with the upscale tool and compare it to the one of upscale media, we can see that upscale media kept a lot more of the details that were in the original photo. I really like using this tool in my day-to-day -day workflow, especially when I want to upscale images that I generated with AI. Now that you get a sharp image, how about you modify its scenery to something a little more interesting, just as I did in this video. Leave a thumbs up if this video was in any way helpful to you, and I will see you in the next one.